Manny Pacquiao says that Terrence Crawford was afraid to fight him. Terrence Crawford responds. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, really interesting things unfolding. Manny Pacquiao did an interview with the Manila Times, and out of nowhere... I guess someone asked why he didn't fight Terrence Crawford. This is what Pacquiao had to say. Quote, he is just afraid and the promoters are preventing him from fighting me for a long time. You know, and that was kind of out of nowhere that he said that. He said Crawford was afraid to fight him. And um, I guess maybe this came up because Crawford says he doesn't recognize Pacquiao as a real title holder right now because he has a secondary belt in the welterweight division and the true WBA belt is held by Keith Thurman at the moment as far as we know and Pacquiao got the regular version of the of that belt by beating Lucas Matisse who really hadn't done shit at the division in terms of um welterweight you know he only had like Emmanuel Taylor 140 pounder and who else did he fight um Tawam Kawam from Thailand but anyway, Crawford heard the commotion and the chatter that Pacquiao says that basically Crawford was ducking or afraid. And he responded to Manny and he says, Manny Pacquiao, you said I was scared of you. Stop it. You and I both know that you didn't want to fight me. That's why you fought Jeff Horn. I had to go behind you and clean up what you couldn't do because you thought it was sweet and you took the easy route you forgot. So, you know, I like this. I like com I like the the competitive streak from Crawford. We're getting a, a bit more vocal Crawford, you know, with the recent Benavidez fight and you know, he he's he's talking a bit more, you know. And I like this. As far as I agree with with Crawford, I mean, when did it ever look like Terence Crawford didn't want to fight Manny Pacquiao? Like I I don't recall that ever, you know. And I remember Max Kellerman, this is when HBO boxing was, you know, a thing. They would get in the ring after Crawford beat Derry Jean. So it goes way back to that fight. And probably even before that. But I remember specifically after that fight, go watch the post fight interview. Max Kellerman was like, Would you like to fight Terrence Terrence Crawford? Would you like to fight Manny Pacquiao? And he was like, I would love to I would love to fight Pacquiao. He he's he's a legend, you know? And Crawford had been on record, Bo Mack had been on record, his trainer, saying they would love the Pacquiao fight. However, they're not going to chase Pacquiao. Like, you know, they're going to do their own thing. So it's really weird that Manny Pacquiao, um, it's up to my, my new ad advisor, um, Al Heyman. You know, it's weird that Pacquiao is now accusing Crawford of ducking, which we all know to be false, which we all know it's really the opposite. It's like... You know, the, when, when someone would fart in, in a public setting and you smelt it, you dealt it type thing. It's like you're accusing him of what you actually did. Michael Conx. I mean, this could be dated back so many ways, traced back. Michael Conx, who was Pacquiao's advisor at the time, he said we don't like Crawford's style and, you know, made excuses, even though Crawford has moved up to welterweight and he has two knockouts in his first two fights at welterweight. He knocked the bulk of the people that he fought at 140 out, you know, except for Victor Postal, who he beat up, you know, and knocked down. So what, what don't you like about his style, you know, because he's mixing it up and he's not fighting like Margarito, you know, fighting one way and one dimensionally and uses his legs, stands his ground toe to toe and just gives you different looks. You know, Freddie Roach, when he was Pacquiao's trainer, he also pretty much let you know they don't want to fight Terrence Crawford. 
Freddie Roach says that we need tune-ups before we fight a guy like Crawford. Like, how are you the... How you need a tune-up? You Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Pacquiao got like 60-some-odd fights. And he needs a tune-up for Crawford? So, I mean, this is just ridiculous coming from Pacquiao. You know, this is like... You know, this is this is the story of boxing, really. You know, Joshua, everybody... A lot of people feel that he avoided Wilder or chose Povetkin instead. And then they're going to spin the narrative to make it look like Wilder don't want to fight Joshua. You know, same thing here. So, I, I mean, it is, it is what it is. I've already went over this. This is a dead issue. And it's, it's kind of ironic that Pacquiao signs to Al Heyman. And we all know who Terrence Crawford is signed to. And now, all of a sudden, he's he's making this. So, basically, you get as far, as way, far away as possible from Terrence Crawford. Because you were signed with Top Rank who is his pr promoter right now. Bob Arum was trying to make the fight for years, you know? And there's even a art, there's even a, a article from an interview from Pacquiao and he says I'm not he says I'm interested in Lomachenko but I'm not interested in Crawford cuz I remember now nah, I just thought about that. I did a video about it. It's on the channel. You know? He says we're not interested in in Crawford. I want to fight Lomachenko. But anyway, back to what I was saying. It's funny that now that you're signed with Al Heyman, so you you know you aligned yourself across the street, and you had a, a meeting with Bob Arum in the Philippines about your future, and then now you you say this stuff about Crawford ducking you when it could have been settled, and then you could have went to Al Heyman. You know you could have fought if you really thought the man was afraid. Then that's an easy derail everything Crawford's doing. He's undefeated. You'll get all, you know, you couldn't beat Floyd Mayweather. So this would have been a nice consolation prize. Another undefeated young black fighter, you know, with with attributes that people even compare to Floyd Mayweather. You know, I don't think they fight exactly alike. But, you know, some people say, oh, Crawford, he's the he's the this generation's Mayweather and stuff like that. So that would have been a hell of consolation prize. So Pacquiao know he wrong with with, <laughs> with this and saying that Crawford was ducking and afraid and stuff like that. Like I said, why you say it now that you across the street on the PBC side of things? Why don't you settle it with with Ter do one more fight with top rank and then, you know, instead of Jose Benavides and then go over to Al Heyman? Whatever. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.